So it's official, we've been open a month. I'll be going over everything that we've done right and wrong in this video and some of the things we're gonna to try to improve on in the future. So for the first few weeks, it was slow going. We had maybe one or two good nights a week. We had a lot of girls, but people didn't know that we were back here. They didn't know that we were open yet. So now that's starting to change and things are getting better. But for the first couple of weeks, there were many days that were actually in the negative. But it seemed to even out over time and now we're doing all right. Things are getting busier now. Going from that one or two good days a week to now we're having four or even five really good days a week and a lot less negative days, which is obviously nice. People now know that we're back here and that we're open. We're getting regular customers, so it's really helping things out a lot. When we initially bought the bar, there was boxing three days a week. And there was a bit of confusion actually, because the owner told us that just by buying the bar, we we're able to serve people out there. But that's not actually the case, as he does not actually run the Muay Thai boxing. He just has the building itself. So we had to talk to the promoter of that, and then we had to buy more tables to put out there so we could serve people who are watching the fights. Once we did that, we're okay. But they actually changed it from being three days a week to four days a week. Initially I was concerned because they actually block in the whole back area of the boxing stadium to make people pay to sit in the seats up. Now we do have a door we do have a door to the street, so that makes it a bit easier for us. But I was worried that we weren't gonna get the foot traffic needed. So they added Sunday as a boxing day. And that actually has become one of our best days of the week. Our, mo our busiest days now are Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, with Saturday being our worst which is not what I would have expected. But funnily enough, that actually leads us into some of the things we've done wrong. And the number one is we didn't plan to have enough girls here. This is a big bar, and it looks a lot emptier when we even have only five people working here. Even if you have five people and customers, it looks empty still because there's so much space. And when we have boxing on, two of those girls have to go out and serve the people watching the fights. So that means that if we only have five girls a night, two, we lose two to boxing, so you only have three in here. Not nearly enough. When I was initially budgeting for staff when we opened this bar, I was thinking five or six would be plenty. But now I'm thinking 10 to 20 is what we're wanting to aim for. Now it's gonna be hard to get that many people as finding people in general is very difficult, but that's our goal. Our, our goal for next year is to have 20 girls working here on a daily basis. The other thing is because like I said before, is that this bar is so big, we have, we have a big empty spot right in the middle. And that makes it almost like a highway for people to come in from outside and go straight through to the rest of the bars inside. Now obviously that's not good for me. I don't mind doing that, but that doesn't help me at all. So we're actually trying to think of some ways to break up that lane and maybe add more tables or dance floor or something to just break it up a little bit and to fill up the space a bit more to make it look a bit more busy. Some of the th things that I made mistakes on was in the build. Now I didn't realize when we put in the speakers, I thought these speakers would be overkill, but they're actually perfect. But the one thing is, is, weirdly enough, this bar is really, really good at keeping sound in, but that means that once you exit those doors, you don't hear anything. So it sounds like it's dead in here. And so that doesn't attract new customers when they think that it's quiet as a church. I wanna actually add a third speaker that points out into the boxing area, just a small one, that adds a little bit of music out to that area to draw customers in. The other thing that we made a mistake on is the position of the DJ booth. We thought that having it right at the end of the bar would be really good. Be a really good focus point and have her be the center of attention. But what we've actually found is that it's kind of in the way and we actually like to have the POS system there. And that allows the cashier to take the orders from people or from other servers and then tell the bartenders. It makes it a lot easier. So what we have is we have our LED sign at the entrance and we're gonna actually build a temporary DJ station there so that when DJ comes, we can move the table over there and she can DJ and then when she's gone, we can move it back. The issue is from the beginning, people are complaining about the stools. We have stools along the bar top and they were just so high that people were complaining about the height of them. So we actually had to cut all those down. Not a big deal, quick, easy fix, but something that we made a mistake on as well. The last big thing that we messed up on is walkouts. Now the girls that work here are not used to working with Farang. They're not used to working with Westerners. They're used to being working in Thai bars with other Thai people who would never think about walking out on a bill. But we've actually had now, we've had two or three walkouts because they just don't realize that when a guy says, oh, I'll be right back, I'm just gonna go see a friend, he's probably not coming back. We need a better way of keeping track of who has bills and who doesn't, but for now, we're just keeping it in the computer. One of those walkouts was actually for 4,500 baht. That turned a day that we were gonna make profit into a day that we made none. 
Now, what, I'm not gonna say he did or not, but it might have been premeditated because he came in and he was buying all the girls drinks, tons of shots, and then he was sitting outside. He told one of the staff that he was just gonna go and see his friend and he'd be right back. She said, okay, and then he was gone. By the time I was told that he had walked out on the bill and he was nowhere to be found. Now again, whether or not that was malicious, I don't know, but it is something that we're gonna have to adjust to. But that brings us to the good though. You know, sales are improving. We're becoming profitable. Every week we have a day that sets a new high for us. And that's good. That's what we need to do to, to keep this bar alive. We need to be making money, obviously. People are coming back. We have quite a few regulars who come back often and they always compliment on the atmosphere, the vibe of the place and how we don't push them into sales. We've often been told by multiple people that we have the most beautiful girls in the boxing area, which is obviously gonna help people to wanna to come here. The girls as well are doing a lot better. They're starting to understand how this area works and how you can work down here. Cause again, this is a very different bar than the ones that they are used to. We're in the process too of hiring more staff. We're hiring another bartender and another cashier. So we're hiring more people to support us. And as well, we're looking to hire like 10 or 15 more girls, like I said before. We also are increasing the number of times we have a DJ every week, which I think will help bring new customers in as it's something that this area just does not have as well as having coyotes more often. And a coyote is a dancer. We're gonna have some come in a couple times a week to liven up the atmosphere as well. And then also I wanna do theme nights. I have a friend and he told me that we should do a Western style theme because that could be cool. And it's again, it's something that's not done down here. I think next week we'll be doing a Western style night. So that's it, you know, that's where we're at. That's kind of the sum of the month where we're still doing okay. We're getting better every day and we're starting to be profitable. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Cheers.